Red Rover, Red Rover, let Clifford come over. Okay, here I come. Ooh. Yay! <laughs> okay, you won that round, big guy. Now it's my turn. <gasps> hey, where's he going? Let's go see. Oh, forget it, Joe. It's really stuck. Well, hi there, Clifford. Did you come to help us get out of this mess? Whoop. There he is, Cleo. He's helping those telephone people get their truck unstuck. No job's too big for Clifford. Woohoo! Thanks, Clifford. You're really a big help. You really are a big help, Clifford. Sometimes I wish I were big like you so I could be helpful too. I don't think you have to be big to help. Anyone can do it. Clifford! That's Emily Elizabeth calling. I'll see you guys later. Bye, Clifford. See you later. Clifford's right. Anyone can be helpful. So from now on, I'm going to be as helpful as I can be. Me too, Cleo. This is never going to all fit in the car, Violet. But dear, most of this is yours. The lawn chair, the umbrella, the cooler. <clears throat> all the necessities of vacation. Now, why don't you go check the doors and windows while I load up the car? Yes, dear. Mm, I sure could use some help getting all this stuff in. Did you hear that, T-Bone? Mr. Bleakman needs help! <laughs> so, you think I should pack the cooler first? Well, it's as good a place to start as any. Okay, next goes the garment bag. Thank you, Cleo. Oh, good idea, T-Bone. The umbrella can go next. Lawn chairs, books, snack suitcase one, suitcase two, shaving kit, picnic basket, beach toys, and my favorite fuzzy bedroom slippers. <sighs> Perfect. Packed tight as a drum. Oh, my goodness, I packed a pooch. Let me help you out of there, T-Bone. Help me pack, and now my my underwear is growing on trees. <laughs> Maybe Clifford can help you, Mr. Bleakman. Oh, oh. Oh, my 
Sorry. I think that's the last pair, Clifford. Thank you. Oh, embarrassing things to have happen like. Thank you, T-Bone. And thank you, Clifford. Hmm. All ready to go, Horace? The dogs helped him pack, Mrs. Bleakman. <coughs> oh, isn't that nice, dear? Oh, yes, they were loads of help. Did you hear that, T-Bone? We were loads of help. Uh-huh. Let's go find somebody else to help. Scat! Shoo! Go on! Go on! Oh, those pesky crows. I wish I could keep them out of my garden. <laughs> It'd be a big help if you could scare them away, Cleo. Okay, then. You dogs keep these birds away, and I'll bring you both a treat when I come back. Looks like we got here just in time, T-Bone. Are you sure about this, Cleo? Those crows look awfully big. Try it, T-Bone. It's fun. Uh, I don't think the crows like it very much. What do you mean, T-Bone? Look. You can come out now, guys. Thanks, Clifford. We did it, T-Bone. We got rid of every crow in the garden. Uh, actually, I think Clifford is the one who got rid of them, Cleo. But he wouldn't have gotten rid of them if we hadn't needed saving. Well, I guess that's true. So, you want to come with us to help someone else, Clifford? I'd love to, but Emily Elizabeth is taking me to the park today. Okay, see you later, Clifford. Wish us luck. Good luck, guys. <laughs> it feels kind of good to be so helpful, doesn't it, T? Huh? Oh. Hey, it's Billy and Betty stuck in that tree. What do we do, Cleo? I don't think we can help with this problem, T-Bone. We'll have to get Clifford. But Clifford went to the park with Emily Elizabeth. It'll take forever to find him. Looks like we're just gonna have to do it ourselves, T-Bone. You think we can? Of course! We 
We just have to think of a plan. I can't think of anything when they're crying like that. Okay, okay. So you go calm them down while I do the thinking. Right. Hey guys, uh, uh, want to play a game? A game? What kind of game? Uh, uh well, uh, I'll pretend like I'm somebody else, and you try to guess who I am. You were a monkey, right? <laughs> a funny monkey. <laughs> <laughs> right. You're good at this game. Okay, kittens. Now it's your turn. You pretend like you're a squirrel climbing down a tree. No problem. That. That's incredible. You guys look just like squirrels. Squirrels use their claws to hold on to the tree trunk. Can you do that? I can do it. It's easy. <laughs> it's easier than easy. That's perfect. You're almost down. Oops. Uh, uh, uh. Now use us as a ladder. Whoa! Heesh. I had no idea kittens had such sharp little claws. But look, Leo, we did it! The kittens are down, safe and sound! <laughs> I didn't think we could rescue the kittens without you, Clifford, but we did it all by ourselves. I knew you guys would make great helpers. You really don't have to be big to be a big help. <laughs> Clifford! It's story time! You want to hear a speckle story, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> I thought so. He's your favorite. Today's story is Speckle and the Building Blocks. Reba had some brand new building blocks, but she also had a problem. She didn't know how the blocks were supposed to go together. So she asked her friends if they could help. Speckle looked at the blocks and knew exactly what to do. He put them in the shape of a sporty race car. Then Luna used the same pieces and arranged them to make a handsome horse. When it was Ravi and Darnell's turn, they built a mighty robot. After watching her friends, Reba realized that the blocks didn't have to be just one thing. They could be anything she imagined. So she took the blocks from the robot and created a shape of her own. A spectacular castle. Everyone was having so much fun that they continued to play and build together all that afternoon. The end. That was a great story. Isn't reading fun? <laughs> <laughs> the 
trouble with kittens. Sounds like someone's in Mr. Bleakman's yard. Hey, look at that! It's Billy and Betty! Race you to the top, Billy! No fair! You started first! <laughs> they sure are cute. But Mr. Bleakman doesn't like anyone to play in his backyard. I better tell them to leave. Hey, guys! Hi, Hi Clifford! Clifford. Want to play with us? Sure, but not over there. Come on! It's fun! <laughs> totally fun! Don't worry, I'll get you. <laughs> Whoa, that was close. What a great game, Clifford. Let's play it again, huh? Listen, you guys, Mr. Bleakman's flowers are very special to him, and I don't think you should. Hey, look, Billy, a fluffy thing. Oh, cool. Let's get it. Oh no, Mr. Bleakman. He'll be so upset to see the kittens playing in his yard. I better not let him see them. <laughs> <laughs> you guys aren't supposed to play here. Okay, okay, okay. Then we'll play up there. Last one up is the bowl of sour milk! No fair! You started first! Clifford? What are you doing here, Clifford? Yes, the flowers do smell good this time of year, don't they? Woof! But I'd like you to please go home now, Clifford, so I can get some work done. Woof! You guys okay? <laughs> You're fun, Clifford. Yeah, we really like you. Thanks, but let's just stay in my yard today, okay? Okay. okay. <laughs> I have to stay awake and watch the kittens. I can't let them go into Mr. Bleakwood. <laughs> Yeah. Ahoy, Clifford! We're gonna play in Mr. Blakeman's yard! No! Hey, Clifford! Oh! Hi, guys. Hmm. Want to come play with us? I'd love to, but I have to keep my eye on the kittens. What kittens? Where'd they go? 
They were right here! Oh no, they must have gone back to Mr. Bleakman's yard. We'll help you find them, Clifford. Just give us a lift. See anything? Not yet. Wait, somebody's coming. Oh, that's the phone. I'll get it here. Cool. Let's climb inside. There they are. Let us down, Clifford. T-Bone and I'll take care of this. Let's go get him, T-Bone. Okay. Hurry, guys. They're in the clothes basket. Hey, come on out of there, you guys. Oh! Don't worry, Cleo. There's room enough in here for everybody. <sighs> Come on in. It's really fun. Well, it does look kind of fun. Don't you think so, Cleo? Oh, look at your tail. Tail? What about my tail? Oh! oh. <laughs> I'm gonna get ya! No, no! Leave my tail alone! <laughs> hey, hey, wait for me! I wanna chase his tail too! Hey, come back here! <laughs> 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 Chasing T-Bone's tail does look kind of fun! Oh no! Mr. Bleakman's coming. There's going to be trouble. I've got to do something. Clifford? <laughs> Are you here again? I want you to go on home, Clifford. I don't have time for your shenanigans today. Whew, that was close. It sure was. Ah, uh ha! -huh. Uh, guys, where are the kittens? Uh oh! <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, we'll get him. Oh, look! The dogs want to play tag again. First one tagged is Ariel Furball. No fair! You started first. <laughs> Violet, would you please help me get these roses to the backyard? Coming, dear. Quick, everybody out. Head for my house. Yipes! Clifford, 
I ask you to please go home. Now, go. Just look at this mess, Violet. Spraying water, spilled bird seed, dirty clothes, mud everywhere. That dog is an absolute menace. Now, hold on a minute, Horace. What makes you think Clifford made this mess? Clifford always makes a mess. <laughs> Well, not this time. What do you mean? Clifford couldn't fit into that tiny bird feeder to knock the seeds out. And these muddy paw prints are way too small to be his. And I don't think Clifford started that gush of water. I think he was just trying to stop it. Well, if it wasn't Clifford who did all this, who was it? I think the answer to that mystery is hanging right here in front of us. My overalls? Oh, no, dear. Kittens. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, uh, I suppose you could be right. Maybe I better just take these mischievous little kittens back home where they belong. That's a wonderful idea, Horace. But isn't there something else you'd like to do first? Uh, something else? Yes, I suppose there is something I need to do. Clifford, I'm really sorry I blamed you for all this. It wasn't fair of me to assume you did it before I knew what was really going on. And, uh, I just want to say that I'm... I'm sorry, okay? Oh, 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 oh. Okay, okay, boy, that's enough. Oh, Clifford! I've got a surprise for you, boy. Oh. <laughs> Playing with someone else's toys is fun, but it's best to ask permission before you use something that doesn't belong to you. Hey, what's this? Wow, cool! This must be Clifford's new toy. Let's see what it can do. I don't know, Cleo. That toy isn't ours. It's Clifford's. I don't think we should use it without asking him first. How would you feel if someone used your favorite toy without asking first? Mm, I wouldn't like it. Okay, I'll wait till Clifford comes back and ask if I can use it. Hi, guys. Hi, Clifford. We came to see if you could play and saw your cool new toy. Can we play with it? Sure. Thanks for asking, Cleo. Asking permission before you use something that doesn't belong to you shows that you respect that person and the things that belong to them. That's why Clifford's big idea for today.